Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are good, and today I will show you the second game between Question Master and me where I have black pieces against him, in this game I sacrificed my rook and the game was completely aggressive, so let's get into the game, Question Master started with d4, we have e6 and e4, after playing the d5, the game turned into French defense, here you have variety of moves, such as advance variation tarish and exchange variation, he chooses to play tarish variation so c5. Open French defense, knight here and I take the pawn, he didn't take the d4 pawn, instead that, he played e takes d5, question mark question mark, why he played e takes d5. Because he want to develop his pieces first with the knight, queen d6, castle and you can't protect the d-pawn, it's not in your hand, so knight f6, knight c3 knight c6 and we have first pieces exchanges in the center, queen c7, queen e2, a6, knight f3 and I played bishop d6, getting the diagonal with queen bishop, battery to attack in the future, he played bishop g5 to target my knight, that's a completely idiotic move, I wouldn't save the knight with bishop and put my bishop on this nonsense diagonal. Instead, I thought to myself, if I castle on the short side, I won't be able to attack him on the king side, that's why I played an interesting move h6, giving white to my knight and making him a double pawn, for that reason I get the file to access my rook and the bishop creativity on this diagonal, in the long run I can double up my rooks on the g file, ok we have rook d1, bishop d7 rook e1 bishop e7, knight d4, look at the white pieces, they are targeting to my e6 pawn. If you play any normal move for example b5, then he will sacrifice his knight, and after doing big exchanges on e6 square, white will target to my pawn but that's not a big problem, big problem is that he will completely seize my ed diagonals and my king will totally exposed, so in this position I castle in long side, bishop d5 by him, question mark, can you take the bishop? No because the queen will arrive on there to target black weak pawns and the file will be completely open, so bishop b4 with an extra move, c3 counter attack so bishop returns on d6 to target the d5 bishop, bishop f3 and i win up h2 pawn, with an extra move, bishop e5, showing middle finger to question master, bishop h5 bishop e8, knight f3 to offering rook exchange, so i block it with bishop d6, queen e4, he is threatening to play rook d4 to move the rook like this to pressure my position. Another idea is to target the f6 pawn with queen h4, so bishop c6 queen h4, f5, the pawn is well protected by the queen, question master played knight d4 to target the bishop, because the bishop is one of the pieces that is causing serious problems for white, so I saved the bishop with bishop e7, it is very important to learn what you should keep safe and you will be able to trade without any problem, in this position, look at the pieces. My bishop pair is targeting to the king side, if there were no pawns it would be a serious problem for white, plan b for this situation is to create a rook battery in the g file, plan c is to push the pawns sincerely with no fear, he played directly queen f6 to target the pawn with bishop, so rook f8, queen d4 to target the bishop, so bishop f4, now I am threatening to play e5 then e4, to target the knight, if knight h4 then move the queen to e4 to target the knight. Where bishop and rook is line up on g2 square, it will be a very bad situation after playing e3 with a pawn threat, so queen a7, rook want to go to the d4 and queen may give a check so queen e7, now I am threatening to take the pawn, after takes queen g5 check will win up the bishop and the f3 knight will be fall after two moves, here if you play rook g1, try to protect the pawn, then bishop will take the knight, no matter what you will play you will lose the game by getting a check on h4. So in this position we have king g1 bishop e8, queen d4 and I sacrificed my rook on g2, that's a brilliant move and chess friends, if you want to make brilliant sacrifices like me then you can like and subscribe to my youtube channel where you will get brilliant contents from me, we have king takes g2 queen g5 check, king h3, queen takes check and the king can't retreat because the bishop and queen line up on there, so knight h4 bishop c7. My tactic is to play rook d8 to get the file to target the rook with two pieces after escaping the queen on b4, so he played queen b4 first, rook e8 rook g1, you might think, the white king is exposed, so play attacking moves to target the knight, 
and make the rook moves to pressure the king with the white bishop, but you should learn from me, where to attack, how to attack and what will be the outcome of my attacks, the knight and the h rank is well protected by the queen. The rooks is doing very good job, so it's not the right time to attack, so it's time to make another tactics with another pieces, how to make another tactics with another pieces. And why should you make another tactics and strategies? Because, white can't able to stop another piece's involvements, his all pieces are busy to protect the king, because the king is exposed, make clear pass pawns, that's the right time, he tried to do something with the queen move but I played f4, locking the rank to attack the knight with bishop and queen, so rook g4 and you cannot play bishop d7 to target the rook, therefore he will sacrifice his rook to expose your king and target the king with the rook and queen. So I continue the tactic with e4 and look at my pawns, they are getting closer to their destiny, e3 is coming, and bishop f3 will from your rooks, f5 is a threat, question master played a4 so I played e3, if you take the pawn, let me show you the variation, rook check will come so king backs, queen takes rook and you will lose the rook, so in this position we have queen e2, f5 to target the rook. If you move back your rook to g1 then you will lose your queen on e2, so back to the position, we have f3, pawn takes takes, queen e5 and I make my pass pawns, they are coming with the bishop and rook support, we have knight f3, queen here knight d4 to target the bishop, so f3, if you move back your queen then the two connected passed pawns will destroy your position, and don't forget that the queen and bishop is line up on there to check the king, black bishop is also there to target the king. Rook can come like this to attack the king, so he decided to take the pawn on f3, takes takes, bishop takes f3, and I am totally winning here, how can he stop the pass pawn and the checkmate, it's impossible, I win the game, so wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.